Hi guys, it's Mike White with Baby Monkey Studios again, and I'm going to bring you another tutorial today on how to create a custom skin. So I think this is going to be something that can help a lot of people get started with Xcart. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. We'll just jump right into creating a custom skin. Now we're going to start out right here on the desktop. And I've just navigated to a folder that I've created, you know, that is a local copy of Xcard here on my computer. And I'm just going to go into that folder and then into Skin. And here I can see all the different skins that Qualiteams pre-made and included. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new directory. So let's stick to the naming conventions that they've set up and let's just call this My underscore Skin. Okay. So I think it should be clear that when you're selecting a skin in the back of Xcart, uh, you know, you're selecting one of these directories to be used as the alt skin directory, okay? Now the main skin directory is common files. And, you know, theoretically we should never change anything inside common files. We should always work in our custom skin directory. You know, this philosophy actually helps too uh, when you go to upgrade because you can see all the changes you've made. And you can always switch back to a default skin for testing purposes. Okay, so let's look at three columns up here. Three columns is the most basic skin. I mean, it's essentially just common files with a, a skin selected. So there's, there's no files or templates in the three columns directory except for these two. And so we're just going to copy these and go back here to my skin, paste them in. AltSkin.ini basically just defines the skin. So if I want to change, say, the order, let's, let's put this skin up at the top. Let's make it 101. And the author is going to be Baby Monkey. And the name is going to be My Skin. Screenshot, we can leave it screenshot.png. Let's save that. Now I like to edit the screenshot too so that it's relevant. And since you know you don't have the site already designed, um, you know, then you're probably going to want to just grab the current client site and you know take a screenshot of it. And I just use alt print screen on a Windows platform. And I'm just gonna paste that in Photoshop. And here I'm just using my you know, the screenshot of the current Xcart site. It's had some modifications, at least enough for us to see, at least enough for us to see that the screenshot is working. Now I'm just going to save that. Save for web and devices. I want to save it as a PNG, probably just a PNG A, it'll be smaller. And I'm just going to go back to my skin, screenshot.png, save and replace. So now there's three other folders that I usually create. And I create slash JS, um, CSS, and images. So let's just create those three folders. And, and just for kicks, I'm going to go ahead and put the logo, because that's going to be step two, is kind of how to use this um, you know, skin and start making changes and having those changes update. I'm going to go ahead and save this logo image in my images folder of my skin. And we're going to make some kind of slight change to it so that we can see that it's updated. Okay, so now we have our little caption on our image and we can tell when we start pointing to a different skin directory and a different skin, uh, alt skin images directory. My logo png okay and I'm gonna get rid of my logo back yeah. so we're ready to upload our skin and I've popped over here to filezilla and I'm just gonna go into my xcart folder and then into skin and on this side I'm already in my xcart folder I'm just gonna go into skin and I'm gonna upload my skin okay so that'll take just a second there's not many files there so we're gonna pop back over to xcart and we're going to go to Settings, General Settings, and then click Appearance. And see, we're already using the Light and Lucid 3 column. And so all the changes that have been done to this site so far have been made to the Common Files directory. 
And so, you know, we're just going to click this list, and here we have my skin. Just by uploading it, you know, the skin is going to be available. And there's our screenshot, which, you know, gives us some nice feedback, lets us know that uh, our changes are going to be in effect. And, you know, after you're done with the site design, you can always go back and edit this and make it, a, you know, look like the real site. Okay, so we're just going to change to my skin and then click apply. And, you know, we're going to go to the front of the site and refresh. And we shouldn't see any changes at all. And that's because our skin is just totally empty, as you guys already saw. So, you know, the first thing we're going to do is, you know, take this logo file and make it point. Not only, you know, prove that our new skin is working and demonstrate how that's, you know, how that works, but also, you know, see this image show up from the alt images directory that is our new skin. Now let's look at making that change. And for this we're going to use our trusty little webmaster mode, which I've covered in another tutorial I'm sure. But you know, we're going to start webmaster mode, and now you have to have pop-ups enabled. Uh, if not, you know, you need to unblock uh, the pop-ups for your website. And the best way to do this is just open the customer area in a new window. I'm going to click this link right here. And that's going to close my debugging console and take me over to the front end of the website. I, I pretty much know where this template is, guys. I just want to show you how I would find it. If you didn't know, then you would look right here. And you can see, as I mouse over these different uh, templates in the debugging console, that it's reacting over here. It's having some reaction. Now let's look down here at the bottom. The way XCard is set up, uh, the head actually loads at the bottom, which is great. You know, it pushes your content up in the search engine. So, you know, this is being absolutely positioned kind of after the fact. So you can see right here that this head.tpl is, you know, reacting on the top of the website. And it's being pulled from the common files directory. So let's click right there. And we can see, you know, we're at common files, customer, head.tpl. Okay, and there's, you know, the div class logo and, you know, the xlogo.gif reference to the images dir. Now, this images dir is pointing to the common files directory currently. And we want to point it uh, away from there. Now, we also want to not edit this template. We want to take this template into our skin and edit it there. So we're just going to copy everything. You know, control A, control C, and let's take note of this path right here. It's in common files, customer head.tpl. So I'm just going to go ahead and close webmaster mode because it kind of, I don't like all the green. And so let's go over here to content. I'm going to right click, open link in new tab, and go to my edit templates. Go to my skin. Now I need a directory. You know, I need to put this in the customer directory. So I'm just going to create the directory. Customer. Oh. I have a file operation that's failed. Actually kind of glad that happened. On this server, uh, my permissions are incorrect uh, by default when I upload to the server. You know, it's just a server set up, and it's kind of an older system. I've never bothered to have it changed. And so, you know, we're going to have to go set the permissions uh, in, on, in this instance to allow Xcart to modify these. So, you know, just for now, I'm going to set them to 777 so that they're world writable. And um, that's going to allow XCart to make any changes it wants to make to that template directory. You know, just go right in here to FileZilla and right click on My Skin, click on File Permissions, you know, give it Writable 777 and click Recurse. Hit OK. I'm going to just refresh this, do new directory name. Let's try this again. Customer. Create. There we have it. OK. Let's go into the customer directory. And we need a new file name. Let's just check what our file is. It's head.tpl. And let's just go in there. Oh, and first, let's actually drop over to the front end of the website and refresh. And we can immediately see we've had some effect. Now, there's nothing in head.tpl. So we're just going to paste in that code and hit save. And then let's refresh again. And everything's back. So now let's go down here and take a look at this logo. Let's pull the new one in from our new skin directory. Alt Images Dir is going to do the trick in that case. And we're going to use mylogo.png. And I'm going to click Save. Go to the front and refresh. And it didn't show up. 
I've forgotten a very important step. You know, before we can do anything with this new skin, we have to at least have one more file that's important. And that is in skin, my skin, CSS. And so we're just going to go, you know, edit templates, my skin, CSS. And we're going to make a new file called altskin.css. Now, real quick, I'll explain. When you create this altskin.css, Xcart automatically looks in the skin directory for it. And any styles that are defined in altskin.css are going to basically overwrite the files that are in main.css. Now, you know, in my case here, I've actually gone into, um, you know, obviously our image is going to show up now we, just because we have that file. It checks for it before it defines the two variable alt images dir and alt skin dir. You know, we're going to go over here and look at settings, general settings, and I have disabled the speed up tools. I've probably shown you this before. But use speed up tool for JavaScript and use speed up tool for CSS are unchecked. Now I'd want to recheck those uh, when I go live and probably, you know, check this do not check if templates are changed right here. But you know, for now, it's going to help us to be able to see what's pulling from the alt skin directory and the uh, alt skin.css and what's pulling from the main.css, okay? So, you know, the first thing we're going to do is, is make a change to alt skin.css. You know, we've changed this logo file. Let's inspect, you know, this element with Firebug. Okay, and let's look at this div class logo. And see we have a margin left of 27 picks and padding top 9 picks with 610 picks. Okay, now I, I just want to get rid of that padding top and, and slam this all the way up. Okay, and we're going to do that by just taking the same definition that we can find in main.css and putting it in our alt skin. Okay, so again we're just going to go, probably have this window open somewhere, edit templates. My skin, CSS, alt skin CSS, and we're going to paste that right in there, you know, and we're going to get rid of this padding top, padding top zero px. Okay, you know, and it's important too that we actually define something for the padding top because if we just remove this line, well, then it wouldn't work because you know it is defined in main CSS. We don't need to put this other stuff in here. I just kind of like to, when I've pulled over, you know, a, a particular class, I like to have it all defined in this file now. It kind of makes it a little bit fatter than it needs to be, most likely. All right. So there you have it. Now it's slammed all the way up. And if we, you know, inspected this element again, you know, before, you know, in all these other styles, like this div class line one, um, you know, we can see that it's coming from main.css. It's real small probably for you guys. Oh, it might be off the off the screen. Sorry about that. Resize some things while I have the video paused. But anyway, you can see that most of these styles, you know, all of these are pulling from main.css and it tells you what line. But, you know, now this div class logo you know, it's defined both in altskin.css and main.css, but this altskin is being called after main.css, so it's overriding it. Now, the templates, you know, kind of work in the same way. Um, you know, let's go ahead and if we were going to one, you know, make some changes to welcome.tpl, for instance. I know I showed you this once before, but I'm just going to go over it again. You know, we always want to just emulate the exact structure that we find in common files. So, you know, I'm going to go over here to common files, customer, main, and, you know, welcome.tpl. And I'm going to copy everything, control A, control C. And I'm just going to go back to edit templates and go to my skin and go to customer. I need a new directory again, main, create, go into main. I need a new file name, welcome.tpl. Let's create that. And let's go into welcome and paste in our file. And let's just, you know, tell ourselves something here. And so since we just made it the same name and followed the same structure, it's going to be overwritten on the uh, render. There's our hello. Okay. Well, I hope it's been helpful and, and not rambled too much. 
and that you understand everything now about creating your custom skin and working with it. I wish you success in all your e-commerce ventures. Mike White signing off. Talk to you soon.